in the study of the Bible, as we go through, we'll move on to our lesson. Let me make a note here. I apologize. The Word of God. And we've been studying the Bible all the way through. You can check our website and get the uh, other videos. But the Word of God. There are four views of the Bible. A. The Bible is mistaken assortment of antique sacred philosophy. All state-run and funded universities of college in the United States position of. The Bible is mistaken. And it's just a mixed bag of, of philosophies. Any course is taken in history and science and math and English. Any course is anti-Bible. When you go into a public school system, you get the natural science, which is evolution. You are not, have I ever been taught, I've gone through the high school 12 years. I have, I'm an associate in, in a college degree. Have I ever been taught in a classroom? In the beginning, God created the heavens and earth. No, I've been taught the evolution, Big Bang, fossils. No, I meant to say fossils. American history is a downplay of the Bible Christian. They won't teach you the truth of the, of the pilgrims. And they won't teach you the fact is that the pilgrims became the congregational church and persecuted Bible Christians called separatists. Those things are not taught in schools. You're not taught about or yeah, taught about, about the Pharaoh that was in allegiance with Joseph and helped the children of Israel. You're not told about the Pharaoh that served, had Israel served with rigor of slavery and killing the firstborn of the male children of the children of Israel. You're not talking about the time when Herod sought out to kill uh, Hebrew children about two or three years old, uh, from, from birth to age two or three years. You're not told those things. You're not taught in the school system that there was two periods of time when the sun, moon stopped. I think it's Ahaz. I think it's Ahaz. I could be wrong about it. Where it was, the sundial was changed by 10 degrees. You're not taught those. Because the educators and the runners and the founders and the administration of the schools, public schools and colleges, are not Bible. And woe be to a Christian that is involved in the school system that's against God. The Bible has mistakes or needs enhancement. That's the first view of the four views. Number two, letter B. The Bible is the word of God in the originals. And you will hear a scholar, a pastor, a teacher in the original, in the original Greek. And people profess who do not have the originals nor ever seen them, or can obtain the originals. They're gone. It's not like you can go somewhere and say, well, let me get five minutes to peak. <coughs> you can't even get one second to peak. Every seminary or university in the United States of any denomination when they're administrated by the denomination of the Catholic, Methodist, Baptist, and etc., there may be a decent standard, but no Bible foundational standard. The Bible is not the Word of God. 
But you said the Bible is the word of God in the originals. There are no originals. So did you catch that little slick of the serpent's tongue? We believe the Bible's in the originals. Huh? It must be a Bible believer. No, because you don't have the originals. And they say the Bible has mistakes or needs enhancements. That's what we said about letter A. Letter C or number three. The Bible is the word of God in the Texas Reception. And you, these, this group is called the TR. And the Texas Receptus does not exist. The collection of the manuscript line, not a one or a few books. There is no copy to be seen, to be had, or to be illustrated of the TR. And let me use their language, the TR. The Bible has mistakes or needs enhancement. Does that sound familiar? This is the line of the New King James Version or the New Schofield Reference Bible. Now, I have a Schofield Reference Bible. Very rarely do I look at the notes. And there are some notes that are good, and there are some notes that are terrible. And in my Schofield Bible, there are places where they'll make a, a, a letter A, letter B, letter, you know, a little footnote, and they will follow the line of the modern Bibles of the Sinaiticus or the Vaticanus or Westcart and Hort, and this ought not to be here. That, that note not, ought to be in there. Few conservatives and fundamental universities of colleges follow the line of the TR. The dispute. We believe the word of God was inerrant, unable to be wrong, in the original writings, and we hold the traditional text position, TR, but we certainly we do not believe in a do double or secondary inspiration. Again, the Bible has mistakes or needs enhancements. Letter D or number four on the four views of the Bible. The word of God that was originally given was transmitted through the Texas Receptus family of manuscripts exists today without error. And in the Bible, we are able to own and read or borrow the King James 1611 Bible. Bingo! There I am. I'm not a TR man. I'm not original man. And I am not, you know, it, it's a sacred collection of philosophy. I don't have the Harvard shelf of books. That's not what my Bible is. My Bible is not, a, 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 it's good. The, the Reader's Digest, they used to have books and it would have five or four or five or six stories condensed. That's a collection of, of books and stories. That's good. But that is not my King James Bible. I don't adhere to the originals. I don't do the originals. I don't do Hebrew and I don't do Greek. And if God wanted me to know Greek, he would put the word in Greek in the Bible and he would put the word in Hebrew in the Bible and every other word I press one for English. That is the four views of the Bible. The Bible's mistaken authority of antique sacred philosophies. The Bible is the word of God in the originals. The Bible is the word of God in the Texas Receptus TR. The word of God was originally given, was transmitted through the Texas Receptus family of manuscripts, exists today without error, and in the Bible we are able to own and read and borrow the King James 1611 Bible. Very few institutes 
Very few places of assembly run by local churches believe this thing. It's a fringe position. It's a position that many do not hear to the King James Bible. I am reminded of a church in Groton, Connecticut, where I come from. There was a church. I'm not, <coughs> I'm not going to give the name because I forgot the name of the church. I know it's, I can't remember the name of the road. You could bring any Bible you wanted to do, bring, any. What a mass confusion. How do, how do you keep up with any Bible you want to bring? It's simple. The other Bibles have one main motive. Correct the King James Bible. Their Bibles won't say what's in the King James Bible. The King James Bible won't say what they say because the King James Bible is the authority over those Bibles. Now, when a person comes to a word or a phrase in the Bible they don't like, another topic, the Word of God. When a person comes to a word or phrase in the Bible they don't like, they will Greek it. What do you mean by Greek it? In the Greek. Number two, a better rendering is, yeah, you've heard these people in the original Greek or the Greek, you know, the Greek definition of this word. Why don't you use the Webster's 1828 dictionary where it's English? I understand English. I'm a doctor of theology. I am Dr. Stanley William Hayward. Most of your con the congregations they don't care. They don't want to know. They want to know English, and they're too lazy to even look up the English. So they'll Greek it. They'll better render it. Or letter C, better manuscripts read or say. That's what the Schofield Bible says. It has been omitted by the best sources. The MSS says. The LAX says. I don't care what they say. I care what God says. I don't care what the preacher says. I care what God says. I don't care what the Sunday school teacher says. I care what God says. And I want it in the English. My denomination believes. Come to a phrase or a word in the Bible. Well, you know, we're a group of X, Y, Z. And we go back to our forefathers. And there's a lot of things, well, you know, we go back to Jophesus. We go back, well, you know, the Jewish people say they tied a rope around his leg when he went into the most holy place. I don't see that in the Bible. I don't care what the Jewish people say. If that man went into the most holy place with one thing that was wrong, one sin that was bound in his life, he would not make it into that most holy place and he would not come out of that most holy place. And all the denominations have their beliefs. Mary, Jesus is not God. Well, my pastor taught me. Your pastor could be wrong. I know many pastors are wrong. I listened to a whole bunch of wrong pastors all last week. Really? Yeah. I went through the TV screen. There was... I think th three channels of you know, where I could get <coughs> preaching. <coughs> Excuse me. And I listened to them. And listen, I tried to give Joel Osteen. I couldn't give that guy five minutes. I could not give Joel Osteen even five minutes of my time in a hospital bed. I had nothing better to do. I can't remember it was before my surgery. Or I, I, I put that guy, he came on. I said, all right, I'm going to watch Joel Osteen. No, I'm not. Joyce Myers, 
I watched Joyce Myers and I preached to Joyce Myers. I told Joyce Myers, you need to shut up and read your Bible. It says a woman's not to usurp the authority over a man. And then the nurse came in or the people came in to take my blood, wherever it was, and I had to turn Joyce Myers off. Praise the Lord for the nurse that came in or the blood people. But I heard many men quoting from non-King James Bible telling us, I, you know what the biggest thing I, I, I saw, I heard in a hospital? It, it made me mad. Healing. Healing and give money. God can give you the gift of healing. I, I don't know how many times I've heard that. You're in a hospital and those lies are coming out. Well, let me tell you. I can name a couple of pastors that I've sat under. Uh, yeah, a couple. They were dead wrong. One of them, I left the church because he changed the Bible. And he was dead wrong. Sincere man, I don't think he should have been in the pulpit. I think he would have made a fine deacon or a, a fine Christian to sit in the pulpit. But when you tell me that my mansion is a, I forget what he said it was, but it wasn't a mansion. Goodbye, I'm out of here. He's wrong. My school said, oh, I can give you names of schools. I can tell you about the school where they go in as young men to the King James Bible and they come out ignorant with a ASV, NIV, new junk. And when they go into the schools and the doors of the schools and they throw their King James Bible in the garbage and come out with puke of West Garden Horse. Here's one. I rebuked this guy. Other men taught me. You know, you know what something? Let me tell you something. You know what? You know what I was taught in school? That George Washington chopped down the cherry tree and he said to his father, Father, I cannot lie, it was me. That's a lie. I was told something about Betsy Ross and the American flag. Come to find out, that was wrong. I was told that Paul Revere got on his horse and rode through rode through the city. The British are coming, the British are coming. And then the reality came. If he yelled to the, the cities of Boston with the red coats there, the British are coming, the British would have killed him right away. That was a lie. And you can go online, type up lies that I learned in the public school system. And there are many of them of American history. So when a person comes to a word or phrase in the Bible, they can Greek it. They can better render it. Better manuscripts, readers say, my denomination, my pastor, my school, or other men taught me. Let's see what we got. We got. Let's keep going. Psalms. 19.7. I'll leave you to pause, find the scripture, and come back. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. Is, is, is. The law of the Lord is perfect. It is indicated as present tense right now. The law of the Lord is perfect yesterday when I read it. The law, of the, law, the law of the Lord is perfect right now as I read it. The law of the Lord is perfect tomorrow when I read it. In Psalms 19 verse 8, the statutes of the Lord are right. Rejoice in the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure. Enlightening the eyes. The statutes of the Lord are right. Are is a present suggestion. It's now, right now, will be now. The Bible writes in the now. Psalms 12, verse 6. 
The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Pure, undefiled, without addition or subtraction of man, beast, or devil, or devils. You know what modern Bibles are? They are additions. They are subtractions of man and the devil. I believe that the King James Bible is the pure word of God where, yes, man wrote the Bible, but the pen is the man and the ink is the Holy Spirit. I believe my King James Bible is from the very hands and the very mouth and the very Holy Spirit. And all the others are garbage of man and of the devil. I go so far as to believe, if I believe, if I know some people believe quite different, and it's okay. I believe if you change the word of God, I, I doubt your salvation, and that's me. Tried in a furnace. It gets purer from the already state of pure, getting better. My dad and I, when I, when I was growing up as a little boy, we would go fishing, and we would melt uh, lead. It had the little tire weights. We would make our own sinkers. And we would melt that. And we would skim off the scum. And then skim off the... The more you heat it, the more time it's in the fire, it, the more the scum floats to the top and you skim off the scum. And you get rid of the scum. And then more and more you, and the scum. The furnace of fire purifies even more and more and more as we get closer to the day that Jesus Christ raptures, raptures his church and we get closer and even to the street, the street of gold of the, of the New Jerusalem. The Bible, the word of God, the King James Bible is on trial as only refiner than the finest ever to be. Those other Bibles, they're only trying the Bible, the King James Bible, and the King, the King James Bible comes out more refined. Proverbs 30, verse 5. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield, shield of the, of the warrior, is faith, unto them that put their trust in him. Every word, nothing excluded. You know, there are churches, they exclude the word. They leave out the word. They don't do the word. They don't study the word. They hurry through the word. If God says it, he cannot lie, and he will never lie, unable to lie, the Bible says. Man lies. The devil lies. And the devil and men are liars. The foundation of lies is the devil himself, John 8, 44. Proverbs 30, verse 6, And thou sh and add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar, every one who is added to the Bible, like Eve. Everyone that's added to the Bible will be found one day at the great white throne judgment or possibly the judgment seat of Christ, they will be found liars before a holy and righteous God. Psalms 12, 7. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. You know, we spell out forever as one word. The Bible says, Forever. Express forever. Make it two words. Thou, thou shalt keep them. That's God Almighty. Not the scholars, not the scribes, not the church fathers. Thou, God. Them, from the words of 12 6, them is the very word of God itself. The words of the Lord are pure words. A silver tried in the furnace of fire purifies seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from generation forever. You know what Bible translators say? They don't think God can preserve it. God is unable. They don't have the faith and the armor and the shield of faith 
in the word of God. I do. Forever. Forever. Matthew 24, 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Mother earth is going bye-bye. Save the whales for the great fire. But my word shall not pass away. From the foundation of the world, God knew the earth and the heavens would pass away. The foreknowledge of God. The words of God were before the earth. God said, let there be. And there'll be words spoken about God in New Jerusalem. When there'll be a new earth, new heavens. From the foundation of the world, shall, shall, heaven and earth shall pass away. It's a future tense. Mother earth will not ever forever to be. But the words, plural, every word. Heaven and earth will pass away. Mother earth will go bye-bye. The moon will go bye-bye. Mars will go bye-bye. The rover will go bye-bye. All the space junk put out there by man will go bye-bye. But the words of God will remain in eternity. You know what I believe? This is what I believe. You don't have to believe this. You can take this and throw it in the garbage can. You know what I believe? I think God's going to have us with our, with our Bibles in glory. The very Bible that I have and the very Bible I've read, and i got two of them. The Bible that I have tears in, the Bible I have coffee stains in, the Bible I have soda stains in, the Bible where I accidentally rip pages, the Bible where I have notes, the Bible where it's been stained, the Bible. I think this Bible is going to be with me in heaven. Now, that's, maybe it's foolish. But it's the very word of God. If not my Bible, the King James Bible will be in heaven. In the Hebrew, the original writing of heaven. So every word, plural. So where are they? They're in any bookstore. Unlimited versions of the Bible. You can get it online today. You can get them on your phone. Mark 13, 31, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Luke 21, 33, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And uh, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall pass away. It's told three times in three gospels. Matthew, Mark, and Luke. There's more things that the earth, mother earth is going by by with a fervent heat, and that the heavens and earth, the heavens... And the heaven are going to pass away with the fervent heat. And the word of God is forever. It's more listed than the birthday of Jesus. As with the death, burial, resurrection is mentioned more than the birthday of Jesus. That's right. Jesus Christ was virgin born. But Paul said, preach the gospel. Jesus said, preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture, was buried and rose again according to the scriptures, according to the scripture, according to the scripture. That scripture is going to be for eternal. Glory to God. Generation. Generation. Psalm 12, 7, generation, Matthew 5, I mean, excuse me, Genesis 5, 1. This is the book of the generation of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Sinful, correct man cannot keep the word of God. They are sinners. They will die. Heaven and earth will pass away. I got my Bible right here. There it is. If the Lord tarries, Stiley Hayward's going to die one day. They're going to bury me. They're going to do something with this body. The word of God won't die. This Bible lives. I had one time, uh, uh, we're knocking on doors at a church, me, me and a brother Steve. No, it was me and my son. We're walking up to the to the house. We're, we're up on the, it was up on the stairs. As we're walking up, we can hear everybody in the house vacating. And my son asked me, he goes, Dad, what are they doing? They said, they see the Bible, it's alive. 
You know, I preached the Bible on, on, the, on the streets of Daytona Beach here, and they had several times called the police and, and tried to shut me up with the word of God. And there have been times I had to walk away, get a hold of a lawyer, and then when I found out I was correct, I went back and preached the word of God. Do you think if I would have got up and, and opened up a Playboy magazine, started reading, showing the pictures of Playboy magazine, you think they would have called the cops? You think if I would have got up and, and started, deck the halls with boughs of holly, you think they would call the cops to tell me to shut up? You think I got out there? Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. You think they called it? No, they called the cops on the preacher with a guy with the Bible that lasts forever. I'm, I may die. Lord Terry, I may be raptured. And when I'm raptured or I'm absent from the body and present with the Lord, when I get to heaven, it's going to be the Bible. And it's going to be the King James Bible. You say, well, where would the NIV? Where will be the NHB? Where will be the new King James? Burning in the flames of hell. Smelling like sulfur. It is man that is corrupted, not the word of God. It is man that corrupted the word of God by his versions, not God's versions. Matthew 1.1. 1, 1. The book of the generations of Jesus Christ, opposite of Genesis 5, 1. Genesis 5, you know what 5 is in the, de in the Bible? 5 represents death. You know, you know what 1 supports in the Bible? It supports unity. Matthew 1, verse 1, the generations of Jesus Christ. The son of David, there's the kingship. The son of Abraham, he was a Jew. Jesus Christ ain't colored. And Jesus Christ ain't European. And Jesus Christ ain't American. He's a king of, the, of Abraham, a Hebrew, a Jew. Jesus Christ, who is God, keeps the word, for he is the word, John chapter 1, and is eternal and is forever. The day you get rid of the word of God is the day that Jesus Christ dies forever. And he's died according to the scriptures and he was buried. But he arose again according to the third day, according to the scriptures. Jesus Christ could have been born all he wanted to be born. And he was, virgin born. But if he didn't die on Calvary's cross according to the scriptures, he wasn't buried and didn't rise for three days and three nights according to the scriptures, i still die and go to hell if Jesus Christ didn't have the gospel and didn't fulfill the gospel according to the scriptures. You see, the very word of God holds my salvation. The very word of God tells me I'm saved. And the very word of God says, these things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. How do I know? By the words of God. 2 Timothy 3.16 All scripture is given by the inspiration of God, breathed by God, the Holy Spirit, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All, all what? Words with a plural S. You mean the man that, that raped his, his daughter? Yes. You mean the man that, that offered his daughters to sodomize? Yes. You mean David seeing a woman washing hers up? Yes. You mean where God says, go to Beth Bethel and transgress? Yes. You mean where the Bible says, piss? Yes. You mean an ass that talked? Yes. That's all inspired. That's all the word of God. Well, what? From in to amen, from Genesis 1-1 to Revelation 22. All the words. The Bible says there's one God, one spirit, one baptism. But man and the devil has 22, 36, 100 versions. That ain't correct. There is only one Bible, absolutely one Bible, and only one Bible, and the King James Bible, and God said he would preserve it. God said he'd keep it forever. God said he would purify it, and it's set before.
And the Bible is never was, but is. Never was, but is. Never was, but is. As scholars use the was and not is. Scholars use the word was. Stiley's not a scholar. Stiley says is. The scholars say was. No, right now, present day, here we are. Glory to God. 